please watch and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Today, I want to tell you about jewelry preservation. There are different kinds of jewelry. Some are precious stones and non tarnished. No matter how you handle it, they remain the same way they've been right from the original time. But others are just ordinary costumes and they can fade and they can turn it. So how do you handle such jewelries? To handle such jewelries, I'm going to be giving you just three tips of handling such jewelries. Number one, to handle such jewelry, you must put them in an airy place. Don't put them in an enclosed place. When you want to preserve them, keep them in an open container. Because when you keep them in a, in, in a closed place, in a, a closed place, there will not be air and there will be damp. Or except you place a silicone in it, a silicone pack that will help remove the damp in it. And anytime there is damp in a jewelry, it leads to growing mucor or tarnish the jewelry. That's number one. Number two, when you want to keep a jewelry or preserve a jewelry, after wearing it, when you wear it out, when you come back, you take a piece of cloth, maybe a dry cloth, and clean it. Clean the sweat away. Because most of us, we have a salt in our sweat. And that can rust, because most jewelries are made of metal. And that can rust the um, paint or the, you know, the gloss out of that jewelry. The, the metal can, um, the sweat can rust the metal or the paint out of that jewelry. So you use a piece of cloth, um, it could even be a damp cloth, use it to clean it before preserving it in an airy place, in a place that has air, not an enclosed place that do not have air. I repeat, you can put some silicone in the place you are preserving your jewelry so that it can take away the dampness and the moisture to avoid it growing spirogyra or mold or um, mucor. Then the best, the third um, way to preserve your jewelry, personally, I do submerge my jewelry in water. Some, some of them, not all, especially the non tarnish, like the beaded jewelries. When there are deaths on it and dust and all that, I put them carefully, put them in water, take a piece of brush, like a toothbrush, and carefully wash it. And you know, I mean, soapy water, soapy water. Especially the non tarnished jewelry, like the beaded jewelry and the, the non tarnished wire jewelry. I, I can put them in water and carefully uh, use a, a piece of a, a brush or kind of toothbrush and wash away the dirt. Then clean it with a towel, then put them in the sunlight to dry very well before keeping them in my container that, or put them on my neck. Sometimes I display my jewelry on the neck as well. But what I do when I display them on the neck to avoid dust, I cover it up with a nylon or with a cellophane, a film, to make the dust not to rest on them. So those are the tips I have for you today on how to preserve jewelry. See you next time. It's a good year, longer. We are going to be having a very beautiful ride. Bye.